Hi, Hi boys and girls. So today you are going to be doing some mixing of paint colors with these sheets in your booklet. So you've got three of them. One for red and blue, one for red and yellow, and then one for blue and yellow, the three groupings of the primary colors. I'm going to be using my paints that look like this. So hopefully you have some paints that also look something like these two. Okay. I actually have my artistic artist in residence helping me <laughs> today. This is my daughter, Phaedra. She's going to do the painting for us. So what you're going to do is take each of your sheets and you're going to start by coloring um, one of the colors, the whole kind of funny looking circle, that whole color, and then let it dry before you come in and color the whole other circle, the other color. The overlapping part should be what happens when the colors mix, okay? So we're gonna do the yellow first, and then we'll let it dry, and then we're gonna go ahead and do, let's go this way, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, the blue once the yellow has dried. All right, so first you're going to paint the yellow and you're gonna go all around the whole circle. So can you outline the whole circle that you're going to paint yellow? The whole one, see how it crisscrosses with the, the blue circle, but that's okay. You wanna take your paintbrush and you're gonna color the whole thing yellow. All right, so once you color the, or once you paint the whole thing yellow, just be careful going over top of the lines here. Um, when we made, when, when we were painting over top of the black lines, they started to leach out into the color. So maybe instead of painting really hard over the black lines, just go in the middle part. And now we're gonna let this dry. And once it's dry to the touch, then we're gonna do the blue. All right, so we waited about two or three minutes. And now if I touch the paper, it's dry. It's not wet anymore. So now we're going to paint the blue section. And when we overlap with the yellow, I want you to pay attention to see what's going to happen. Let's give it a try. Oh, it's turning a different color. Now, if your brush gets some yellow on it, you might have to dab your brush in the yellow and then go back into your paint and just paint on the white part of the blue so we can clearly see what color the blue is. It's kind of like a, a tealy color of blue. And we'll keep painting and show you what it looks like when we're finished. All right, so once you're done painting, you'll see that you have blue and yellow and where the two colors overlapped, it's a green color. So it worked pretty well. If it's not working super well for you with the paints that you have, um, make sure first of all that your paints are dry before you're overlapping your colors and make sure you're rinsing your brush in between um, going, in this part where it's overlapping and turning green and then when you come to the part that's just blue. So if you're finding that the green is being dragged into the blue part, you wanna just rinse your brush off in the water and then try again. Now, I know that some of you don't have the paint palettes that look like this, but you have like tempera paints or finger paints and we're gonna show you um, how to do that because that's a little bit different. All right, so if you don't have the paint palette, but you have more liquidy paints, these are acrylic, but if you had like tempera paints or little pots of paint or finger paints, um, you would have to do it a little bit differently. So we put a little bit, a blob of each color. And so you could put the blob in the circles and kind of spread them out. And then when you come in the middle, you're actually gonna be mixing the paints. So um, my art artist here is going to show you to grab a little bit of each color and then mix them in the middle, and then the paint itself will turn green, and then that's what you're gonna paint the middle with. Now, there's um, a trick actually that I'm going to show my artist friend here. See how her yellow turned all blue, which is not what you want. If you go in with your brush and you just try to dip as quick as you can and try to pull it out to the side instead of pushing back on it, then it mixes a little bit less. So if you have liquid paints, that's what you're going to do. If you have the paint palettes, that's the way that you're gonna do it. And you're gonna do it for all three pages. Have fun.